Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, today, we're going to talk about notifications. Let me share my screen real quick. OK, uh, you all are familiar with uh, notifications. Uh, this is a fairly new feature that has been added maybe a couple of uh, releases ago. And you can see how it works. Notifications, uh, when you enable it in your PHP Runner or SPRUN.NET project, you can uh, see this icon with notification bell, and you can see notifications there if there are any. And it's useful to increase uh, users' engagement, and it's uh, you have seen it uh, this feature on all social networks, etc. Let me show you what we have prepared for you. There is a simple, uh, simple project with just a couple of tables, uh, products, and uh, the login table. So let me show you how it works. Right here, I have believe two users here, test one and test two. Save my password. Okay, and when we add the new product to the products table, uh, we will send a notification in uh, after record edit event. Some new product. And we'll see what it does. So we click save, go back to the list page, and you can see already that notification is shown on the toolbar, but wait a little bit. Okay, there it is. So uh, how it works right now is that uh, uh, notifications uh, only updated on the toolbar when the page is reloaded. Uh, the reason why we implemented it this way is that by default, we don't want to overload the server pinging uh, for new notifications every few seconds. And for most projects, this default setting is fine. And one of our customers asked us, like, how can I notify my users sooner? So there is a bunch of applications where it can be useful. And we're not doing it in uh, exactly real time, but uh, it's like every 10 seconds. And obviously, it can be tweaked. You can set it to a different uh, time period. So we are checking for new notifications in the background. And if there are new notifications, we can show what these notifications are. Uh, it can be more than one notification. And it's just a link that points to a product that was just added. But it can be anything. It can be sales calls. It can be a new support requests. It can be anything. So if you want to provide like nearly real-time notifications to users, it can be done. And this is a custom dialog that appears on the screen. And besides checking uh, what is was added, like if you click this link, it will just take you to that page that we specified in our notification. OK, so let me show you how it was implemented. So it's based on the top of uh, our notification, built-in notification system. So first of all, we need to enable notifications in uh, our system. And we can do it on uh, miscellaneous screen, notifications API. And there is a checkbox that said enable it. And there is a table that is going to store our notifications. Uh, OK, we do that. Then uh, what we're doing here? Uh, in uh, our product table after record edit event, we just uh, add notification function call. So this is a API function 
uh, that takes parameters like uh, message title, the icon that is shown in notification dropdown, and URL waypoints and expiration uh, permissions, who is able to see it and everything. So it's all described in the manual. Again, here we're just doing something like really, really simple. And we point it to the edit page of the product that was just added. That's very simple. Okay, uh, what we do, custom function here, uh, we uh, wrote the code that every 10 seconds, we use uh, built-in JavaScript set interval function to specify how often get notifications functions is going to be called. And uh, what it does, it every 10 seconds, it uh, execute, executes query uh, pointing to the same page where we are right now. And action is uh, get naughty. Uh, what what it does, how we process, and uh, it receives beta JSON, parses it, and if there are new notifications, we will uh, display pop-up. The pop-up is, again, it can be pretty much anything here. Uh, this is a built-in uh, runner's function, runner uh, display pop-up. It could have been something totally different. I mean, uh, here, right here, we just uh, craft HTML, uh, manually and we display this button uh, HTML contains all our notifications that we have received uh, by default it's one but we can try and add uh, two new products quickly and we will see two links here and it displays uh, uh, custom buttons in the footer and uh, again, it can be anything. Display pop-up function can be used to display any page in your application. We can just display some random page in a pop-up. Uh, that functionality that we have added in this project, it is built on top of the existing system. So let me show you uh, what is happening right here. So we make a get request to the page that we are on right now. So it's uh, the way this way it can be, this code can be applied to any page. So you don't need to change anything. This functionality will be available on all pages. And uh, in our after application initialized event, uh, we are checking if uh, we received, making sure that this is our get naughty kind of action. And if it is, uh, we get in uh, the current username and um, perform a lookup manually to see if there are any notifications for this user. So this is, uh, and we select those messages and there can be more than one message. We craft uh, our JSON and send it back. And then there is another option. Uh, we can mark notifications as red. Uh, that if you remember the button on that custom dialog, you can uh, mark certain notifications as being read. But I am pretty sure it's going to work on the ad page as well. Let me test it real quick. So the way it was implemented. Okay, let's wait a uh, few seconds here. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea because we have uh, we didn't add this code to JavaScript on load event of any specific record. We just added it to custom functions that JS file or section here, which means it will work on every single page in the application, which also makes sense for this kind of task because uh, if the idea is to immediately notify the user of something that is important. It makes sense if it works on all pages.